is that NATO allies uh, are able to mobilize more support and that Ukraine is able to uh, regain more territory. Uh, and the other scenario is that we are, we are not able to do so. And then there is a real risk that Russia will uh, capture even more territory and that we will... And, of course, Ukraine is defending their land, defending their territory. And uh, uh, it is enshrined in international law, it's enshrined in the UN Charter, uh, that self-defense is legal. You have the right to de defend yourself. Uh, and that's exactly what Ukraine does. And we have the right to support Ukraine in defending themselves. And that's what NATO allies are doing. Um, uh, we, we don't have any plans of having any uh, NATO combat troops inside Ukraine. Uh, there have been no, no, no requests for that. Uh, but the Ukrainians are asking for uh, equipment, for ammunition, for, for, for weapons. And we are providing that to Ukraine. That doesn't make NATO allies part of the conflict, but we support Ukraine in upholding the right for self-defense.